Hey y'all, just start off, like, comment, subscribe, and please comment, because I need to know. Okay, so let's talk about bandwagons at work. Be careful with the bandwagons you decide to join at work. Because I was talking to some people, and they talking about, yeah, the pay is unfair, and yeah, you know, we don't like that, so we're going to start coming into late to work. And I'm saying to myself, you coming into late to work? They were like, yeah, because, you know, the start time is not right, and the pay doesn't equal the time, we post, the, the time that they want us to come in. So we're going to come late to work. So I'm just like, um, I try not to offer unsolicited advice, but... Yeah. So I was like, um, well, make sure that's your choice. Make sure that's what you want to do. Make sure that you're not just following the bandwagon train and everybody is with the pitchforks out and yeah, we're mad, we're mad and you're mad today. But what happens when HR comes down off their throne and want to come and check y'all about the time? Are they going to fall in line and leave you hanging? Are they going to cop out and be like, oh, well, we're sorry. And, you know, take their little you know, uh, spankers on the hand and go about their business. And you're going to be the only one up there. Oh, no, we're mad. No, stop with the bandwagon train. Because people are easily swayed. As soon as the higher up gets wind of what's going on and what y'all doing, they're going to change their tune because people need a job. And everything sounds good in the moment until the law comes down. And everybody's your friend until the police are investigating. Everybody is right on with you until mama comes around that corner and see what y'all really doing. So don't go on a bandwagon train, especially at work, where y'all all go and group together at the water cooler and act like um, everything is wrong, horrible, and bad until, and, but what, you're going to act like that, but nobody's going to take it to the next level and nobody's willing to get fired for it. You want to complain, that's fine. You want to have a little group, little shaking of the neck, rolling your eyes, that's all fine. But be careful with jumping on these tricks. They'll leave you high and dry. So I gave him a scenario and I said, what if you on that bandwagon with the pitchforks and whatnot, talking about, you know, down with the, with the establishment and, you know, one day you're absent and that same day HR comes down and say, y'all better do right or y'all all fired. You don't know what's going on. Then all of a sudden you come back the next day down with the establishment and you're the only one that fired. You don't know. And you think everybody's going to be fired with you? Nope. You are by yourself, hung out to dry, look on an unemployment line by yourself. So no more at work being wagons. Do whatever because you want to do it and you prepare for the consequences. Like, comment, and subscribe.